Today we will teach you how to assemble a smart car. First of all, we need to tear off the protective fin on the surface of acrylic. First, keep four M3 by six curb standoffs fixed on A13. Take Adapt Uno R3 to confirm the installation location of M3 by 6 Corp standards. At this point, we can observe the location of four M3 by 6 Corp standards. Fix the 18650 multiplied by 2 battery holder to the A13. The 1650 multiplied by two battery holders power cable is at the end of the square outlet here. The two DC speed reduction motors are fixed on two A0 line respectively. One side of the DC speed reduction motor is convex, while the other side is not. Align the 809 with on the side of DC speed reduction motor. Cross the M3 by 30 screw through DC speed reduction motor and then through A0 line. Then fix M2 nut with M3 by 30 screw. M2 nut and M3 by 30 screw can't be fixed too tightly, otherwise the DC reduction speed motor can't be turned. Keep 4 M3 by 30 corporate standoffs 
fix the own A10. Clamp A09 between A13 and A10. The power line of DC speed reduction motor is close to the groove of A10 and towards inside. Check whether the red power line of DC speed reduction motor is above the black power line. Install two rear wheels on the DC speed reduction motor. Take A12, A11, and A14. Connect A11 with A14 using A12. Tighten the M3 nut with a cross wrench.
adjust the servo. Take a rock on of the servo and install it. Rotate it counterclockwise until you can't rotate it. And then remove the rock arm. Then level the rock on with the servo and install it. Rotate the rock on clockwise. We can see that the rock on can rotate 180 degrees to 200 degrees. Rotate the rock on to the middle point of view. That is about 95 degrees position. Then remove the rock on. Then level the rock on with the servo and install it in the servo. Check whether the rock on rotates clockwise and counterclockwise at the same angle. Repeatedly adjust the rock on. Flash the rock on and install into the servo. Clockwise and counterclockwise rotation at the same angle. Keep the servo in place. Don't turn the rock on. Adjust the other servo in the same way. Assemble the servo separately with the 806. Remove the rock arm from the servo. Do not turn the rock arm. And then put the A06 on the servo. The shaft of the servo is close to the mounting holes on both sides of the A06. Fixing the A06 and the servo. Assemble the other servo with the A06 in the same way.
fix a set of servo on A14. The end of the power line of the servo is near the chamfer of the hole on the A14. Take this rock arm of the servo and a longer self-tapping screw. Install the rock arm on the A04. Do not fix it tightly. You need to make the rock arm rotate.